Hi guys, it's Emily here. So welcome to another speed build. And today I am really excited to share this build with you guys because this is a community lot build and I really enjoy building community lots. I actually really like them. I find them intimidating and they're kind of hard to get started, but once I start them, I always really love them. And this one especially, I really like the way it turned out. So hopefully you guys will like it too. It's a multi community lot or a community lot that has multi purposes because in the game, unfortunately, we cannot have different sort of community lots or houses connected to each other and have them actually function independently. You do have to switch them. Uh, basically, you have to switch them manually, if that makes any sense. If you see on the top left hand side of the screen, there's this little icon. If you click that, you can change the different lot type. And so you can switch between the lot types when you're on a community lot. I think the only one that it's locked for is retail lots. I think that one is locked when you're visiting one, if I remember correctly. But either way, I really like building community lots that function as a lot of different types of builds. And so this one is a cafe. It is a bookstore and a laundromat and also a yoga studio. And I thought those all went really well together because the idea that I had in mind since we're in this old town of Windenburg and get together is kind of like this young adult centered world. I thought it'd be really fun to have a cafe where your young adult Sims or maybe even your teenager Sims could come and hang out with their friends, have some coffee, read some books, get some laundry done, especially if you have any Sims living in an apartment that don't happen to have a washer or dryer, or maybe they just happen to live in a home that they don't have room for a washer and dryer. They can come here and bring their laundry with them and get it done while they're having some coffee or reading some books or taking a yoga class. So it took me a really long time to get this build functional. And what I mean by that is, I was under the impression, because I thought that I had done this a long time ago, I had thought that I had built a cafe and then placed down the instructor yoga mat. And then I thought that I could click on it and hire a yoga instructor for like 100 simoleons, but I think that was incorrect. I think what I was remembering is just them spawning. And then if you request to start a class, it costs about 100 simoleons or like 110 or something. And so that does not work on a cafe lot. At least when I was playtesting this, I could not get an instructor to show up at all as it running as a cafe. So then I tried it, of course, as a gym, a yoga instructor shows up as a gym or at a gym perfectly. There's no issues there. They of course show up as a spa lot. So it does function as those. I did hide some lot requirements in the roof, so you won't see them. They're just shrunken down and hidden away, <laughs> which is a really easy way of making a lot functional with the certain requirements when you don't really want to place those anywhere. So I did that, but then I also played it as a park and it works great as a park because I really wanted children to show up here too and have them read books or, you know, hang out with their family or come here and maybe get a scone or a croissant with their parents. I thought that's a really cute idea. And so on a gym and a spa lot, it doesn't really seem like children show up that much. So park lot, they definitely do. And it functions as a park, but parks just don't really make a whole lot of sense for this a lot. It doesn't look like a park at all, but it functions perfectly as a library. And that worked so nicely. And I was very happy to find out that a yoga instructor shows up on library lots. I was completely shocked that they don't show up on cafe lots and they do show up on library lots. So that worked amazing. There's a librarian and it actually works out perfectly because there's a librarian that runs around the bookstore and puts books away. So it's like somebody actually works at the bookstore and then you can, uh, a yoga instructor shows up so you can take the yoga class and then so you have somebody that works there and then you can hire a barista. It unfortunately does cost 100 simoleons when you hire a barista. I wish they showed up automatically too, but they don't at this point. Hopefully that'll get updated at some point because I would really like that because I hate having my Sims spend 100 simoleons just to hire a barista for the barista bar. But either way, um, somebody shows up. So it's like somebody works at each of the individual stores and it just functioned so perfectly. I was so, so happy to find that it worked great as a library lot. So yeah, your Sims can come here. They can use the computers in the bookstore. It functions perfectly as a library, but I wanted it to look more like a more like a bookstore and more like a place for people to come hang out and get homework done. I really had like university vibes in mind while building this and that's kind of what I was thinking along the lines of putting 
the laundry mat in here too so I think it actually turned out really good but something I have forgot to mention so far this is part one I did decide to split this build into two I'm sure some of you guys know by now that I am pre-recording I'm going on a little bit of a trip and I needed to get some videos done and it just felt better for this time to split this video this video into two it's not something that I always like to do I do prefer to keep my videos as one single build or one single video that way everything's in one place but this time it just worked out better to split it up so hopefully you guys don't mind too much but this one is going to be the entire exterior and then part two will be the entire interior but here you can see the build is starting to come together at this point I wasn't really planning on including a yoga studio or a laundry mat but I do decide here in just a moment the inspiration for the looks of this build was based off of the build that you'll see to the left of the screen sometimes that is a build that I did a long time ago it's called the old town bridal now I've made a lot of changes to it since I originally posted that video but that one will be in my save file I love that build so much it's a place where you can go and get your wedding dress or your tuxedo or your bridesmaid dress anything like that there's also a bakery so you can go buy a wedding cake or other desserts there's a photography studio so if you want to take your wedding pictures it's kind of all in one location and I really like the way that turned out so so much and then I think for the other lot because there's three here in this old town area I think I'm going to do a restaurant on the next one and then maybe I'll have a bar attached to it maybe some little shops or something so your sims could go do some antique shopping or something I think would be really cute for Windenburg or possibly a nightclub but I'm thinking about turning the party house party house's house <laughs> that sounds really weird they are turning their uh, lot that they live in um into a sort of nightclub maybe like a renovated old cathedral I think would be really cool uh, so that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll see how that turns out because I will have to move them somewhere else and I'm thinking about moving them down to the waterfront area and building some townhomes I did mention this quite a while ago how I was thinking about building some lots that had multi families living on them and they were the household that I had in mind and then also the two guys that live on the island together I forget exactly their names but they're two guys that came with get together that live together their roommates and I thought that they could live there too and maybe I could have like another townie or something that I created but the idea that I had was that they could be more like a friend's household so if they go into each other's houses it's not really that big of a deal because if you've ever watched the TV show friends you know that they're going across the hall all the time into each other's apartments they're in each other's business all the time and so I thought that was kind of a perfect way to find a new house for all of those sims so I think that could be kind of fun let me know what you guys think about that but the exterior has basically all came together here in a moment I do decide to add the yoga studio and the laundry mat here I'm just adding a second story to the coffee shop this is where the bathrooms end up end up being now it's only two bathroom stalls in here and this is a pretty big build but it seemed to work okay so hopefully it won't cause any problems with your sims not having enough places to go to the bathroom they do have to enter through the bookstore and then go upstairs to get to it but everything works fine I did play test this build a lot since it's kind of one of those more complicated community lots I wanted to make sure everything functioned and it seemed to work just fine and I just love the roof lines so much and I love how well it matches the build that I'd already done I also looked at a lot of builds in the exterior I was trying to make the bookstore look like the building that was behind it to the right a little bit across the canal and it kind of does except for the the pieces that pop out with the windows those ones I think are five or six tiles wide on the one across the canal and this one's a little bit smaller but I felt like it just looked it looked better this way and I also included a bunch of outdoor seating areas for the bookstore which maybe is not that realistic but I felt like it was kind of nice and your sims could go and look at a book and come outside and read or to sit outside and chat if they wanted to get away from the coffee shop or something I don't know something like that you could probably even replace a few of them and put one of the gaming tables oh that's a really good idea I think I might actually do that for my safe file they could sit out here and play some games that would be so cute 
I wish I would have thought about that while I was building it, but I didn't think about it till now, but I really like that idea. And I also included one of the busking stations that we got from City Living. I really like including those in community lots because I think it's so cool that you can hire somebody to come play the guitar or the violin. And it's like somebody is there just playing live music and it feels so realistic to me. You could also have your Sims bring their own guitar or violin along with them and then play at the busking station and get tips and just perform for the public, which I think is also really, really cool. And I just love including them anytime they make sense for a build. Here, I'm just picking out some tables to put for the cafe. I thought these ones worked really nicely with these chairs. And then I put some menus on the table, which I also thought was really cute and then here is when i decided that i wanted to include another store or something along this side of the building so like i mentioned i include a yoga studio and then also a laundromat i think the laundromat ends up being really cute i do already have one other laundromat in my save file for the world of del sol valley the one that came with get famous that one is included in my motel lot, which I have running as a pool and it functions great as a pool. Um, so there's a laundry mat there for all of your Sims that don't own a washer and dryer, but you still wanna do laundry. And then I will include one more in San Myshuno is my plan anyways. And so I think having three of them will be kind of cool just for storytelling purposes. And plus I really like decorating them. I think they look really nice, especially when you can see them through the windows. I just really like that and speaking of windows i put these large modern windows along the yoga studio and that's also something i really like being able to see is just the class going and then you can see your sim participating in it or not participating in it just being able to see the class going through the windows i think is just a really cool effect and something that we can do in the game and also something i should probably mention about having a laundry mat on this lot so when your sims change the clothes don't seem to pile up anywhere when i was play testing this build there were no piles of clothes collecting anywhere and same with that build that i did previously in uh, del sol valley i had no issues with that and i think that's because there's no laundry hampers so hopefully it doesn't cause any messes i'm not sure about like slob or lazy sims if they will leave their clothes but your sims will just have to bring their laundry along with them in their inventory and then wash them while they're here and i think that's a pretty cool idea and so realistic uh here i just placed a few plants behind the busking station to cover up that awkward blank wall i didn't want to put a window there and i didn't want to leave it completely empty so putting those there worked really nicely and then here i do mess with the windows a little bit more i end up going with these base game windows i thought they worked perfectly and then i also use the matching door and i pick out some signs to put in the front and then also on the laundry mat too you'll see for a moment that i pull out a few different signs that came from city living and it reminded me how much i need to build maybe like a hookah bar I decided not to do that here. I did think about it for a moment, but I'm thinking about definitely including one in San Myshuno. I have a lot of really good ideas for San Myshuno, but I haven't spent the time to build there. I'm kind of intimidated because the ideas that I have, I think are kind of big, but I'm very excited to start them hopefully soon once I'm back from my trip, of course. But here I just add the few final decorations with the signs and then we are already onto the screenshot. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this first part and then hopefully you guys also enjoy the second part. So thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I want you to come.